Yo yo yo, what's up guys, Senat Gashi here in the newest episode of the Ringfluencer we are visiting a very new gym, it's called Southside it's located in Ravai, perhaps some of you know Ravai there are so many Russians, they call it Davai Davai and uh, I heard they took like the best coaches of all gyms and are creating one sick gym it should be the best in Phuket, so check it out bum, bum, bum. That's what I'm talking about Wait! Okay now. For the today's episode, you rented out a car because uh, the traffic here in Phuket can be quite crazy. So we took this red daisy. Also in the today's episode, guys, we have a premiere. We have a new camera guy with us, his name is Will Thrill from Australia, Kangaroo Hunter and also the monk is here, Paul the Bacon, my manager. It's the first time in my life in Thailand that I woke up so early to go to a gym. Last time I woke up so early at 7 a.m. or 6.30 a.m. was when I need to go to pee in Thailand. Oh my god. I'm not used for these times. It's so fucking early. I need something to wake me up. Maybe a coffee, a mirror. Oh, fuck. Hey, brother, no problem. That's the reason why you need a manager. Yeah, and you get 30%, fucker. Manager thinks he's smart. Even from the bottle, he took 30%. But I am smarter. He bought me the bottle. The gym is based straight on the beach. I heard there is also Russian cult. Some kind of Illuminati. Perhaps we see them today too. On that boat stands car you have the chance to, to rent a small boat with a driver and they drive you to the island. It's a nice fun and it costs between 1000 and 1500 baht. It depends how good you negotiate. Last time I even got money. I'm such a good hustler. Guys, we did it. We're on the south side. And I tell you, it's so comfortable to drive with the car. If you have ways longer than 30 minutes, I recommend you every time to take a car because it goes so fast. But always, you can use a bike. Manager, can you open the door, please? Yeah, no problem. Even the door, he just opened me 70%. Fuck man, this guy. I really miss something to stand up in the morning. It's such a good review. Perhaps I should do some shadow boxing one second here yeah? because the view looks so sick. But I have the wrong shoes on. Garfield is here, come. You can see the facility is completely new. New bags, new tatamis for BJJ. They have octagon, they have weights. They have basically everything what the champ needs. And except of that, looks like they have here a nice pool with nice uh, apartments where the fighters can stay. Now guys, we're gonna get changed and get ready. 
I don't see a changing room, but perhaps we use the toilet, yeah? And here again a big shout out to for more. They do crazy fighting clothes. Check it out. I'm Josh Nuello. I'm the head wrestling coach here at Southside Thailand. Uh, what makes this gym so special is we have everything under one roof. Wrestling, jiu-jitsu, fort tie, uh, strength and conditioning, sauna, pool, ice bath. Uh, and we've assembled, I think, the best coaches for each craft. Uh, we got Sammy uh, doing the Muay Thai. He's well known, travels with the UFC fighters. Our Thai, our Thai coaches are awesome. Uh, obviously me with the wrestling, I feel like I'm the best in uh, Phuket. Uh, our Jiu Jitsu coaches are great. We got Campbell with the black belt. Um, Denny is our Noki coach. Uh, a lot of leg locks, stuff like that. So yeah, everything under one roof. A smaller facility compared to some of these big guys like Tiger. Uh, you know, top team and all that stuff. Uh, so, you know, you get more specialized, personalized training. Welcome to Thailand. And South side, welcome. Okay guys, the training starts. Everybody's doing rope skipping, but the coach told me to go to the assault bike. I don't know why. Also, you've got the problem that the place is open all the time, yeah? I'll show you a move. I don't know, but just check the calves of this coach. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> this skipping rope is so heavy. I almost broke my big tools, man. Okay, guys, let's start. Now we go to shadow boxing. Let's check it out. What's so good about the shadow boxing is that the coaches go to students when they see a mistake and they try to help them. It's nice. I see already the atmosphere here is very friendly, very nice. And the coaches, I know them also back from AK. They are very, very nice and very good. They're doing like a circulation. So some people are on the pads, some are on the heavy bag, and some are like uh, our manager doing nothing. But anyways, and uh, you see even if the time runs out at three minutes, the coaches still continue, yeah? They need, need to get... They need that somebody say break, otherwise they don't stop. They are very motivated. The only problem with this match is when you sweat, you can sleep very fast. Now we are going to my favorite part, the pets. There are three coaches and we are going to do also their circulation. Every round a new coach, so you have to adapt to a new style. Hello, my name is Mario. I am uh, from Germany. I'm a professional MMA fighter and actor. Uh, now we are located in the Southside Gym, which is now, from my point of view, the best gym in Phuket. I've been here more than 10 or 15 years now and tried everything. But here is like totally different. You have the best, best coaches from America, from uh, Australia, from New Zealand, from Thailand. And they care about you really, really, really much. You have UFC fighters, Bellator fighters, one of C fighters, um, like Darren Till, come to Jemai. They're all coming here and train uh, spar. This gym is pretty new, means like at the, the whole facilities are new, only like three or four months. The gym owner, He's from Manchester, which is he who uh, who is also a good friend of mine. Care about all fighters. Care about your meal prep. Care about your technique, your schedule. You should check check it out now, and uh, having fun.
So the first round we had Sammy. He's also a southpaw like me and he's big. It's not easy to adapt his style, but I love it. Therefore, that he's such a big boy, it's very technical. This guy is killing me. He's making me angry. Also, what you see here, it's a perfect combination. The ties, they have very good techniques, everything, but they are sometimes quite hard to understand. So, we have Sammy here, who is a perfect transition because he's here a long time and he, exp he can explain it in words what they mean and show it. Right. Guys, if you want to know how to knock everybody out, just follow the channel. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Deborah. I'm from Germany and I train K1. I'm here for my preparation for my upcoming fight and I like Thailand so much because the place is very beautiful and the train mentality is very great. Ready right. development. I'm going to one, two. I'm going to step to my left. Step to my left. Very good. Alright? So he's going to think we're doing the same thing again. So we're going up to the top. One, two. As I step to my left, I control his right hand. Make sure I don't get punched square in the head. Okay, so I step to my left, control the right hand from Guys, I'm going over to the partner drills. Like I said, the coach, I explain everything, and then they're trying to pull the combination over. Now we are going to sparring, and guess what? I need to do the coach again. Against the lady. Let's see what happens. Oh, hey, 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 My name is Joshua Dolfo and I like to do Muay Thai and uh, I like this gym because um, it's very family orientated and they, and they want to push you real hard. It's crazy, the training is still not over. Oh, I love it. Come. Yeah. Come. Yeah. Come. 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 When I'm in close and I get the guard up, I like to expose it again in front of me. So it's, if I'm with someone, it's my usual reason. I'm with you, right up and back. I'm with you, right up and back. Up, up, cross, step out, control the hand, right hand. 
Josh, first of all, thank you very much that we could take part here in the training. It's a, it's a cool, it's a cool place here. It's a nice atmosphere. The coaches are very, I think they're very skillful. And I think with Sammy, you found the perfect transition from the Thai coaches uh, to the European, to Western people, so they can translate. Huh? My question to you is, what are the further plans for Southside? Uh, so one of our biggest plans right now is we want to assemble a fight team. Uh, so eventually we're going to get into having tryouts, try to sponsor some guys, get some high, more high level guys in here. Uh, we're actually going to do a little bit of construction and make our Muay Thai area bigger um, just so we can accommodate more people because we're going super fast. But I think the most exciting thing is going to be our, our fight team sponsoring fighters and uh, really putting our name out there as far as uh, you know UFC, uh, one championship, local Thai fighters as well. So um, this gym I see is based on Ravai. Here is like a big Russian, yeah. Russian uh, community. Let's say like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys are building also on that, perhaps? Yeah. So actually, with our kids program, uh, I run the kids program as well. We have like 20 or so Russian kids, yeah. um, and most of them don't speak English. So my buddy Igor comes and helps me out. He's yeah. a former Greco-Roman wrestler, uh, so we have Russian-speaking guy in there. But uh, yeah, we're building on that. Uh, we have a lot of Russians that train jiu-jitsu as well. Um, but yeah, we. We have uh, Russian speakers in every class uh, that kind of help us out with people that can't communicate. But it's easy to coach. Like it's easy to coach and show people. Like you don't have to speak the same language, you know. The, but it does help. In the beginning, I think if you show, it's enough showing. But if you're on a higher level, every word can bring some percentage extra. Yeah. You know? So it's also important to explain it. Yeah. So this is why I said uh, Sammy is like doing this very good the transmission between yeah, the toys. For sure. What makes this gym so special compared to other gyms? I'd say the biggest thing is the people that we have, our coaches. Uh, I really believe that we have the best coaches in every every discipline. Um, and also, uh, you know, our class sizes. Uh, we do get a lot of people from time to time, but um, it's, it's so specialized, the training. Like, uh, you're gonna get one-on-ones with each coach. You know, they're gonna they have time to walk around. Um, so I would say that's the biggest thing, it's just the people we've assembled. There's uh, no problems in the gym because if you have like very good coaches, most of the coaches are very good, they also have very big ego. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. no... Yeah, no, we're all like, we all get along like a big family. Uh, we all do what needs to be done, you know, we're coaches, but, you know, we clean around here. Uh, we all, we all want to lead by example. You take like care it's your thing. own home, man. Yeah, exactly. So. Which advice you can give to young fighters who want to become champion? I would say to find someone, uh, find a good coach and stick to them. Find someone and buy in because everyone thinks there's always a secret to success and a recipe somewhere, but it's all about uh, consistency and buying into one person, one program and going from there. And no boom boom. No boom boom, especially <laughs> in Thailand. Josh, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. I wish you guys maximum of success and see you soon. Bro, thank you so much. The coaches told me that here are some other possibilities to recover. We're gonna check it out. Um, so it looks like after training, the fighters can come here in the pool and chill out. Doesn't look so bad to me. There is also ice bath. The monk gonna love it. I'm so excited. Very warm. It's not cold, this is very warm. I don't understand. Oh, yeah. So now the training is over. We're gonna show you now a little bit why they call it Ravai Davai Davai, the Russian cult. We're gonna show you also. And also, one of my favorite things about Thailand. The Ravai Fish Market. Ooh. It's the wrong side. Here's right. Fuck. Still not used to this shit here. Crazy. Yesterday we drive the first time in the street. He uh, killed two people. They jumped. It was very crazy, but almost. 
This English not so good, almost. So guys, what's up? We are now in uh, Ravai in the fish market and this place is crazy. So you see here all the boats and all the fish. Yeah? The fish coming uh, fresh from the water and you can pick here the fish which you want. Then you go to the restaurant and then prepare it the way you like. It's just crazy. Look what we're gonna take. And we have a surprising guest, Deborah from the gym. She liked us so much, she wanted to join us. Just crazy, they have here like 20 different versions of, of shrimps. And they just look delicious. I'm not sure what we're gonna take today. This is the new version of Spider-Man. Lobster Man. The Lobster Man. The people they try also here every time to hustle. But it's not my first time here. So I hustle them back. Oh basically you go to the restaurant, they measure how much weight it is and then uh, they charge you service fee for cooking it. Glass noodle, fried garlic, soy sauce. Okay. No, the people you cannot order, they are running away. They are running away from you. We had now already three waiters, yeah? One didn't understand, second didn't want to work, third just left. I'm excited what we get. Oh, very good, but we are here. This round table. <laughs> Almost. Crazy. I ordered a cola, I just want a drink, and the manager took it and took again 30% of it. It's just crazy. Every time 30% of it. the best thing in the world, Coca-Cola from the glass bottle. The bill came, the manager left. But he did a stupid mistake, he forgot his wallet here. Thank you. Come, come. Uh, also a nice tip from manager. <laughs> Guys, now last thing. We're gonna show you with the beach and then we're gonna show you these people from this Russian Scientology club. I don't know what they're doing, but they're here. Okay. Somebody used my towel, they had sex in my car, I don't know what happened. <laughs> this towel, it's not more the same. Yeah. Fucking people <laughs> Hello. High five. Hello. 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 There we go. Hello. 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 <laughs> I reminded these children that I was one of the best freestylers in the world back in my times. I still got some skills. No? It's lovely to be with these people. Look at this champion. Boom. So guys, this is like one of my favorite beaches, it's called Yanui Beach, but also here are a lot of people from the Russian yeah. agency, yeah? you will see them, you spot them on the white shirt. Now I show you some relaxing yoga. I just found a tribe of these people. It looks like they're doing a big offer for Putin. I don't know. Fuck's sake. A 
afraid. Uh, I don't want to be here. Oh shit, she's afraid. Fuck, we need to go away. They look like they are searching something. Or somebody, I don't know. What the fuck? Drive, brother, drive! This area, Ravai, we have a very high population of people from former Soviet. A lot of Russia, a lot of Ukraine, a lot of Azerbaijan, anything. So if you say here Vladimir, either people run to you or they run away from you. It's very crazy. Here. So guys, that's it for today's episode. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, enjoyed the gym and uh, see you soon. And then you know why the Russians wear this thing if they have a contract with Aeroflot or I don't know why. Just write on the comments. Boom, boom, boom.